Hello, my name is Alice Roberts Pratt and I'm the Interpretation Officer here at the National Museum of the Royal Navy. Now we're standing in the new HMS Victory, the nation's flagship gallery at the National Museum of the Royal Navy Portsmouth. So previously the Victory Gallery told the story of the sailing navy and Nelson and the Battle of Trafalgar, but the museum already has separate galleries based on those subjects. And so what we wanted to do with this gallery was tell the story of HMS Victory's construction, commission and conservation and the people who played as part in that story. So when thinking about the design of this new gallery, there were a number of things we wanted to include. So there was an immersive AV, we wanted tactile conservation objects, we wanted interactives, both physical and digital, uh, we wanted cased objects, we wanted large objects on open display, art, we wanted graphics, and we also wanted to look at the faces and the voices of the people who played a part in the HMS Victory's story. So with this in mind, we knew that we wanted to work with our designers to create a really bold and exciting new gallery. We didn't want the gallery to be chronological, so the only timeline is in the middle of the gallery on what we called the story spine. Instead, we worked around six themes. So those were her construction, her conservation, her time afloat in Portsmouth Harbour, the ship as an icon, the ship in the battles, and we also looked at her as a flagship. So during the redevelopment of this gallery, there were a number of milestones that we hit along the way. The first big milestone was appointing Haley Sharp Design in October 2019. And by April 2020, we'd finished writing all the interpretation, that's for the AVs and the graphics. Now, a few months later, we had our base build complete. So that was building all the woodwork that you see downstairs. It was um, installing the graphics, reglazing the Wiley panorama and installing the new cases. Fast forward a year and we were back from our furlough and we had signed off the um, immersive film and we had it installed. May 2021 was a big month. That was when we installed all of our objects. That's the small cased objects and the large objects such as the, the mast, the prop and the figurehead behind me. And then finally, on the 17th of May 2021, we were open to the public. So having delivered many exhibitions, I had sort of an idea of what to expect during this gallery redevelopment, but I couldn't expect a global pandemic halfway through the project. Lockdown and other COVID restrictions, we had huge delays to the gallery. We also had some very ambitious ideas for mounting some of the objects. So behind me, you can see Victory's figurehead, which looks stunning mounted high above the gallery. But actually, we needed to install another beam in order to help make it structurally sound. And we needed to 3D scan the figurehead in order to make precise mounts for this object to keep it safe. We appointed our designers in October 2019 and we finished in May 2021. So originally we actually had a nine month deadline, which is quite short for a permanent gallery, but it ended up taking 22 months. So the public's reaction to this gallery has been really amazing. Some people have said it's got the wow factor and that it's better than they ever expected it to be. They've also said that they've enjoyed learning about the wider history of HMS Victory. And we can't wait for you to come and visit the gallery for yourselves.